we're taking a look back at two ice fishing trips and reminiscing on all of the fun that can be had while fishing over a frozen lake. Ice fishing, if you didn't know any better, sounds like a good way to just have frozen hands and a runny nose. While that can and does happen, ice fishing is more like having a really cold picnic or barbecue with friends that just happens to take place in below freezing temperatures, and the fish catches are just the icing on the cake. Yeah! Crappie, baby! <laughs> Now, let's take a look back at the first time Steve Panaz, who is a legendary pro on the ice, was able to pull Wade away from the warm Texas waters and bring him up north for his first ice fishing experience in Minnesota. I've always said Wade didn't wade fish and Wade didn't ice fish much. But Wade does wade fish and Wade's getting ready to go ice fishing now. So this is a pretty epic adventure for me in all honesty. I'm up in Minnesota with my good friend Steve Panaz. But the main thing that's got me the most excited about this is an opportunity to play more with Garmin's Panoptic. You know, I first fell in love with Panoptic when it came out and I had a demo model and I'm fishing up on a boat ramp and I make a cast and I see everything happening live. So we're getting ready to go out on this body of water and have a brand new experience while also learning a little bit more about all this live action fishing you can do with Panoptic. Good gosh. Is this a hook? Yeah, baby. <laughs> you want something bigger? I'll give you something bigger. Here, you want this? I, I can guarantee you. My eyes aren't good enough to even tie a knot on this. There you go. No, I'm good. We're just going to tie this on, and uh, we've got a four pound mono on here. Mono performs well in the shallow water. If we're going to fish deeper water, we'll go to a braid or a super line, uh, just for no stretch and sensitivity in that deep water. This is by far and away the smallest bait I've ever tied on in my life. Is it? Yeah. In the old days, we'd, we'd drill 50, 60, 70, 100 holes and then walk from hole to hole with traditional sonar, looking for schools of fish directly underneath us. With Panoptics Live View Forward now, what we do is we drill a hole, we drop our PS22 transducer down and we scan sideways. And we can go out to 100 feet and we'll go, there's a school of crappie here at 60 feet, right between here and that birch tree, or here's another one over here at 40 feet. And it'll just send weight over with the auger and say, Wade, pace off about 40 feet, drill a hole, we should be right on top of the fish. So it's really changed ice fishing for the better in terms of making it uh, a little easier to find the fish and just to have a little more fun. I mean, we can go to a traditional flasher here real quick and kind of show the same thing that we're looking at. And you can kind of see what's happening now. Here are the, here's the bottom. You've got some perch down bottom. You've got a couple crappie right there. The difference is there's my jig going up and down right there, but it's a completely different experience. Now you can watch. You don't know what's left and right of you like you do on the no. down. No, not at all. You, you lose a lot of that ability. But if we go back to pan optics again, it's much more spacious. You still have the, the separation between, you can see But you can see so much wider. You can see your bait actually moving up and down and, yep. and you know exactly the depth better. You can see how many fish are to so the side. Look at all that crappie come screaming up there. See how that fish is screaming up to the bait? No, he just rejected it. He just turned it and went the other way. He just rejected it. He just went it. that way to the right. Yep. Now, see how it's all become one? Yeah. Now just sort of slowly lift. There you go. Oh, there you go. One. First one. <laughs> Pull this out. Sunfish. <laughs> First one through the eyes. How cool is that? <laughs> Good size fish, too. <laughs> That's so cool. Look at that. Well, that's so cool. I could do this all day. I uh, you are going to do it all day. <laughs> this is like already going to be another addiction. One of the most crucial things to take into consideration before stepping out onto the ice is, of course, safety, safety, safety. Steve Panaz has some words of advice for us that can prove to be life-saving for anyone who's thinking about trying ice fishing for the first time. 
You know, the general rule on ice is you need about three to four inches to walk out. You need about eight inches to take a light vehicle and you need about 12 inches to bring a, a, a truck out here. We've got probably 12 to 14 inches of good solid ice. Uh, we've got plenty of ice to, to be out here safely. But if you see cracks, if you see water seeping up through the ice, avoid those areas. If there's any question, stay off the ice. Let's rejoin Wade as he wraps up his first experience of ice fishing. Well, he's a little bitty guy. <laughs> Check him out. A little, a little, little perch. Well, that's so cool. Catch all the different species while you're out here. See the fish coming up to it right there? He's gonna kind of become one. He just turned and went away. He didn't like it. I'm gonna drop it right back down on him and just kind of shake it a little bit. There comes one up at it right there. Little bitty guy and I shook it and he swam off to the side there. Look at there's a bunch of them underneath. Don't see the ground swell up? There's one right there, that's him. You can see the fish coming right up. Small perch right there. That just shows you how great a separation and what we've got going on here. I mean, that's a small fish that you actually saw. Can you imagine when you start seeing big fish like the crappie or walleye or bass when you're drop shot and how they're well they're going to show up and it just tells you how good these units are picking up target separation and targets at that at that depth i'm going to go down below you i'm in the middle of that big group of like three or four. Oh, there comes another one came up it. two of them came up ah yeah. they're acting like sunfish are they yeah see that there now you'll know Whew. Ooh, can you grab that out of the hole? Bring it right out. Yeah! Crappie, baby! <laughs> How about them apples? Look at that! Nice! <laughs> Snag them on the corner of the mouth. <laughs> That's awesome. There got him? Just got him. There you go. Got him. I don't think my. Oh, what is that now? <laughs> you got him, all right. Yeah, I got him. <laughs> Look at that screen, though. It's just oh, that's awesome. You need to pull your. Yep. Oh, big sunfish. Oh, that is a big one. Big sunfish. I finally caught a crappie. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> there you go. Oh, big crappie. Look at that yeah. one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> wow. Boom. I got hot at the end. <laughs> got hot at the end. That's a, that's a good quality crappie. Uh, that's. That's, yeah, that's what awesome. you've been looking for all day. You know, I look back as, as the, there's a lot of firsts in life. And, uh, you know, I look back to the first bluegill I ever caught, threw a bobber out, a little red and white bobber on a rock. And the bobber went down eating a night crawler and I reeled it in. I was a little kid and I ran home to my mom and dad. And, wow, check this out. And, you know, it had really, here I am, you know, 50 years later, and I'm like, wow, check this out. That was my first fish and an ice deal. They're about the same size, ironically enough. And, you know, I drop it down there and everybody's kind of excited about it and I'm setting the hook. And, you know, it's a, this is a social event. And that's what's really cool about this ice fishing. And a lot of times fishing up in this part of the world, it's very social. You know, these guys get out and create these little, uh, these little towns, little communities, they're grilling, they're hanging out, and just really having a great time as they catch all kinds of fish. I will be back. I'm already planning my next adventure. Sounds like we're gonna go to Mille Lacs or Leech Lake or one of those places and target big walleye next year. So, A plus, I'm gonna do it again. A common question in regards to ice fishing is, don't you ever get cold? The short answer is yes, at some point you will be cold. Some anglers fish from permanent or portable shelters with propane heaters inside to keep warm. This was the case when we accompanied our Garmin team on another ice fishing expedition, and the first day of fishing saw a wind chill of negative 40 degrees. <laughs> 
We've got what are called our wheelhouses, and we call them wheelhouses because they've got wheels on them. You can crank the house up when you're trailering it down the road, and you can crank it down and set it right on the ice. They've got furnaces in them, lights, TVs, oven stoves. It's really like a camper on ice, essentially. And so, you know, we're out here, we got the generators running, we've got our TVs going, plugged in through HDMI cables into these GPS map Garmin units, and we're able to literally sit back on the couch and watch the fish come in on our 32 inch TVs. With LiveScope, it gives you so much more clarity than even Panoptics gave you. And you know, we've been seeing some Northerns come through the house. You can see their tail paddling as they go by. You can pick out individual fish and it's true to scale. So if you see a fish that's a foot long on the screen, that fish is a foot long. So LiveScope is really kind of the latest cutting edge thing right now. And having it in a fish house is pretty cool. They've got us all worked up. We can't even sit down right now. They're everywhere on the screen. There he's going up. Look at that crappie. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> That's what we came for. Woo. That's a, That's a slap. big one there. Look at that. <laughs> nice. That's a nice one. That's why you come to this area. Yes. Nice. And that's what those bigger marks are off to yeah. the side, some of the yeah. bigger crappies. I mean, that's, you know, look at that over my hand. That's a big crappie. That's a beauty. And you want to know what that is? A crappie sandwich for tomorrow. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> I ain't going to argue there. <laughs> Here comes a good one off the bottom. Look at that. It looks a little better on that rod. Yeah, it feels, I suppose with three, they're really gonna. Yeah. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. <laughs> That's what we're here for. Yeah. The first night in the wheelhouses was quite fun. You know, we were set up and we actually all jumped into my house because I've got the 32 inch TV set up to the 8610. We had a lot of bites, lots of bluegills, lots of small crappies. We caught a couple of nice crappies too. Overall, really good evening in the wheelhouse. It was fun. The next morning, the weather had warmed up to a comfortable six degrees, mm -hmm, which gave our team the opportunity to get outside, drill some holes and enjoy the great outdoors. Good one? <laughs> yeah, not bad. <laughs> I was just trying to get two higher marks and then I seen one down below moving around a little bit so I dropped down to him. I thought he was maybe a little bigger, but. He feels, he looks like a head shaker, but. Yeah, I don't know if. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wasn't letting that one get away. Oh, that's a tank. Look at that. The slab, huh? <laughs> that was all worth it. Cold hands and everything. So, you know, ice fishing is really a huge growth category in the fishing industry. And, you know, even since when I was a kid, fishing has changed tremendously. You know, we obviously didn't have big crank down houses on wheels with TVs in them and all that kind of stuff. It was more you just sat there with your jiggle stick. If you had a flasher, that was awesome. Today, ice fishing is a very high tech, you know, very advanced fishing. And we can get out here with pan optics and see fish 100 feet away, which is something that even, you know, a few years ago was just unthinkable. So it's always a good time when you can get out on the lake and, and catch some fish. And wh whether we catch fish or not, it's about being with friends and sometimes the adventure of it. You know, today we were busting drifts with the truck. The night before we were sitting in the wheelhouse and kind of hanging out. And, you know, ice fishing is such a fun way to spend your time in the winter. It's, it's cold up here, but, you know, we've got the heaters, we've got the houses and the equipment to do it. So I encourage people to get out and try it. Ice fishing is really kind of a fun way to kind of get out into the outdoors and, and enjoy, you know, all the great lakes that we have up here in Minnesota. In closing, always make sure you're safe and prepared. Sitting on a frozen lake and staring down a hole the size of a dinner plate may not sound like fun to those who haven't tried it. However, we promise you ice fishing can be incredibly rewarding. And it's an activity that helps many anglers up north get through the long winters. Mix in the Garmin Livescope and it's one of the most exciting ways to fish. 